welcome to another episode of Joel's J. Um, due to a recommendation from one of my family members, I'm going to show you how to draw the outline of a pen. Okay, so I'm going to get a ruler and start at zero, and I'm just going to draw the entire width by two and a half, so three, and then you're going to make a little mark and do two and a half. Go up here, make a little mark, and do two and a half. Okay, so now we're going to draw the head shape. So I'm going to try fold a little, like, ways you can draw. Um, like, for example, like, rounded and, and pointy. So for the chin, there's pointy, rounded, and in the middle, and I'm going to do in the middle. And this is just an outline to help you. And if you can see, I did this part more thicker because this is the definite part. Like this, I'm going to have to erase because it's not part anymore unless I'm doing like a bob or something. Shape, like, there's so many variations you can do. These are just some like more realistic eyes, like lines, dots, another line, you know, vertical and horizontal. Um... As you could see, for even this one, there's so many, you can, like, make the eye big. Like, if the person who um, it's about, if they have big eyes in real life, you can make them have big eyes in this drawing. And see, even now, I kind of mess up the shape right here. I'm trying to make it identical. Um, there's so many ways. The pupils can be so different in all of them. Okay, and for the nose, you can, here's like some examples, just straight, um, pointed, curved, and this is like the more realistic one that I have trouble with. Um, and I'm going to say the person I'm drawing has more of a curve for their nose. When, when they find out, um, when they see this video, I'm going to like laugh so hard. Anyway, now I'm going to do the smile, like the mouth. So here's a line, and then they drew the lips around. Um... I think I'm going to just do like an outline for the lips like that. And then she has dimples and then right here. Okay. And next, since we have the nose and the nose ends about three fourths of the ear for what I've examined, I'm going to draw the ears. And I forgot to make a section in this pamphlet about the ears. But. I knew I was forgetting something, but there's lots of different ways you can draw them. I'm going to start, like, about here for the ears, and then hair. I was debating on even doing a section for this because there's so many different hairstyles, but here's, like, a little wavy, curly, more curly, and straight, and... Some waves, more wavy. You can do bangs, um, afro like mohawk for. Um, you can do more bangs, um, and this one I'm sure just showing how to draw a ponytail. So I usually like go like this, so you can like tell it's a ponytail. Um, but I also just do like that, and because like this. Oh, these little sparkles for fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you draw because, again, I think this is like what we can do. Like, I think you can do this in the camp to do the back of the head. If you are like a little bit more interested, you can always just take a spark pen and get the crazy ones. Or there's stuff at the dollar store, Target. So many. Um, journals.